Today marks one year since the U.S. withdrew from Afghanistan and the Taliban took over. The move resulting in the fall of Kabul and tens of thousands of Afghans evacuating the country. Last year, Afghans risked their lives clinging to the last American plane. Some of them didn't make it. Other families forced to split up with no sense of when they may see their loved ones again. The Taliban declared today a national holiday after reclaiming power there. But for many Afghans, it's a day marked by trauma, anger and fear. And those emotions are echoed here in the Bay Area. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido spoke to a family that found safety in the Bay Area after escaping their homeland. We call this day the Black Day 15. August is Black Day for the people of Afghanistan. They remember it like it was yesterday. I get a call from, from my commander, from my boss, and he told me there's nothing to, to fight with them. Just save your life. Rahola Shayan and his wife Zaina both served in the Afghan army and had contact with top U.S. officials. The couple knew they would be killed and had to take their two kids out of the country. It is clear if we, if we were now in Afghanistan up to now, me and my husband will not be alive. Like thousands of other Afghans, the family rushed to the airport in Kabul, trying to catch a flight out, each moment documented in case they were killed. We already was so scared, afraid. We hide our kids to, some, to just save them life. After close encounters with death, the family was finally able to catch a flight and land in the U.S. I just shout and say, yes, there is a, there is a U.S. soldier and now we are safe. One of them started to cry and sh uh, he told us, you already made this, this journey. In December, they'd finally find their new home in Tampa Bay. We have a dining room. This here. Riverview home, their we peace and safe and haven. That. Their host family that helped them get here on the wall. And Gulf Coast Jewish Family and Community Services is helping them all adapt. Peace. We enjoy from peace. As they look back at their memories, the Cheyennes know they're blessed to be working with both kids in school. Rahula wants to serve again, but this time in the U.S. military. They have hope one day things will get better. In Fishhawk. Peace come again in my country. It is my big wish for my country. Angelina Salcido, 10 Tampa Bay. The Cheyennes aren't the only family from Afghanistan being helped by Gulf Coast Jewish Family and Community Services. There are several dozen more from the country and now Ukraine coming to Tampa Bay. If you would like to help them out, we have a link on our website, 10tampabay.com.